Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Rick here with theCUBE. We're at the North American International Auto Show. A lot going on and really the theme of this year's show is not zero to 60 times. It's not how long is your drivetrain. It's really all about automation, mobility, um, and, and all the new technology that's driving in what will be autonomous vehicles and the supporting systems. And right in the middle of all this is a familiar company, IBM, so we're really excited to have Sachin Lula on, the global automotive lead, Watson IoT from Autolab. First off, welcome. Thank you, Jeff, thank you for having me. So I don't know that a lot of people have thought of IBM as really being so involved in automotive, but you guys have been making a ton of announcements lately. You had the, the GM, um, or excuse me, the General Motors CEO on at World of Watson, making a lot of announcements at CES. So you guys are fully into this automotive thing. Absolutely, I think uh, automotive is uh, one of our biggest bets in terms of the industry we are going after. And uh, as you probably heard from the Ginny and Mary Barra, uh, announcement few months back, you know, auto industry is going through a major transformation. Like Mary rightly said, we'll see more change in the next five to 10 years than we've seen in the last 50 to 100 years in automotive. So, uh, you know, feel grateful to be part of the auto industry at this point in time. Yeah, it's interesting because it's changes in the way the cars operate, it's changes yep. in the propulsion systems, it's changes in ownership models, there's changes all over the place. But what I find interesting and kind of the vibe here of the show is where you would think that would be a huge threat and people would be cowering under the covers. It seems like the automotive manufacturers have taken this as an opportunity to reinvent themselves. It's kind of this, a natural catalyst that they've seemed to have embraced and really running hard with. Is that kind of your experience with the auto companies you work with? Yes, absolutely. I think, um, you know, they all recognize this as a, an opportunity as well as a challenge in terms of how quickly they can transform as the consumer needs are evolving in the digital world we all live in, live in especially with urbanization becoming a major trend. Uh, so, uh, you know, I think all OEMs recognize the opportunity the industry boundaries are blurring as we speak between technology companies and the traditional auto industry. And I think uh, capabilities we have IBM um, have to offer uh, really are resonating with the marketplace, which is why you've seen so many major announcements from us in the last six to nine months. Right, and, and you know, automotive is such a great visible IoT wearable thing. Yes. You know, we can't see what's going on in a lot of factories. We can't see the IoT that's involved in medical imaging, but yep. we can all see our vehicles. We have passionate relationships with our vehicles. So it's a really kind of pointy into the spear, if you will, of this whole IoT revolution. Yes, I think that's a good point you make. I mean, two things about auto, right? Uh, I mean, everyone gets cars or vehicles. It's the second most expensive purchase you'll make in your lifetime. And, uh, you know, an exciting one. Everyone cherishes the first car they buy or any car they buy for that matter. Uh, like I said, it's just an exciting industry to be in at this point. So what is Autolab specifically? What do you guys do at Autolab? What's kind of your sure. mission? You know, Autolab is um, our incubation engine to take all of IBM's digital innovation capabilities and take them in a very rapid, agile manner to co-create with our clients. So this is very unique to us because, again, you can imagine with IBM and how big we are, instead of going to market independently as different business units, what the Auto Lab and my team does on a global basis is really package all that innovation and bring that to all of our clients, like I said, in a very agile and consumable manner. Um, you know, let's take Oli, our local motors collaboration, as an example. I know we made a big splash with Oli because it's the world's first 3D printed autonomous self driving minibus with Watson inside. And, you know, all of that happened in a matter of 12 weeks with the Autolab team jointly with local motors. So, that's 12 weeks? 12 weeks. That's the pace. So, what happened in 12 weeks? That's a, that is unbelievable. So, in 12 weeks, you know, Local Motors has done a great job crowdsourcing vehicle designs. Okay. We did the same with uh, our Watson technology, crowdsourcing ideas on use cases with the Oli, developing it, and then actually going to market with it uh, in 12 weeks for the launch in Washington, D.C. One of the things we did is, as we developed the uh, cognitive writing experience, as we call it, we opened it up to all IBMers, and the first day itself, we got 10,000 interactions. 
with the Ollie Watson application and got to fine tune it at a very, very rapid pace. Again, giving it a very unique personality, which is what makes Ollie, in my opinion, unique. You know, after the launch of the Ollie and when my wife and four-year-old saw it, my wife's first comment was, hey, I'm not scared to step onto an autonomous vehicle anymore. And, you know, my son calls me Daddy Cool now instead Absolutely. of Daddy. So, Big Craig, again, you're going to have to go, you're gonna have to, go exactly. to the school, right, so, and present to the class and so, bring the Ollie with yeah, you. <laughs> so thanks to IBM and what we've done together with local motors. Right. right. The other thing I think is pretty interesting because we've been talking about Watson and Cognitive at IBM shows for a long time. We, cut, we go to a lot of IBM shows. Right. But now we're really starting to see applications that are really tangible and you can even sit on them uh, in the marketplace. So that's right. got to be exciting to start getting that stuff out in you know real, yes. simple, easy to understand yes. use cases. I, mean, I think you use the keyword simple. I think simplicity is powerful. Uh, you know, as m most of the conversations go, the typical question is, can you tell me how do I monetize the data in my vehicle? Uh, everyone wants to go after monetization, and my simple mantra is uh, personalization leads to monetization and not the other way around. And that's where Watson and cognitive technology comes into play because if you can truly personalize with cognitive systems and technologies because they understand, reason, learn, and at the same time have the ability to communicate in natural language, that's when you change the game. So as an example, if I know you're an extrovert or introvert, I'll communicate to you very differently. If uh, I know your buying behavior, if I know you stop and pick up a cup of Starbucks coffee every Monday before work, you know, that's when I'll prompt you to, you know, with the latest offer from Starbucks or, you know, if you get a tall mocha every time, I'll, you know, recommend you get one and maybe push a coupon to you to incent you to make that purchase. Right, so right. it's all about personalizing that experience and that's what we as IBM want to own inside the vehicle along with our OEM and other business partners. Exciting time, Sachin. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. you're the coolest dad uh, your four-year-old has, so that's, that's good for you. That's, that's a big <laughs> bonus. You'll that's the you'll, icing on the cake. Oh, absolutely. And you'll definitely be bringing, uh, you know, dad comes from work to and bring the Ollie yes, with it to the absolutely. school. All right, well, thanks for taking a few minutes, exciting times, and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you so much All for right. having me. All right, he's Sachin, I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE. We're at the North American International Auto Show. Thanks for watching.